So here we can do a tumbler test. Tumbler on the varanel. Tumbler on the Namakaria glass on a tumbler level Langudikin and the Kaparatele. E tumbler test on the Paradigarinel. Number this is usually done in many manager managers. Number a glass at the theatre, other than the basis and a glass a lingual tumbler. Edit the other base in a E that will be placed X by pressing on the Rashes. This rashes load to process. There will be a blank or fading of the lesion will be must be there. But she but she in meningococcal meningitis, the rash will not blanch or will not fade under pressure. In the paranal, it is a positive sign of tumbler test. That indicates it is meningococcal meningitis. So here then but at the same time, there are, in next we can see some of the complications. Some of the complications. When we are meningitis, this is a covering of the brain as well as the spinal cord. This is the covering of the meninges and the inflammation. But there is possibility to lead to many complications like one increase the ICP mode. Increased ICP. That itself must be counted as a complication. That is a pathophysiological change. That is an end result of the pathophysiology. ICP is not Increased intracranial pressure. That is the residual neurological disinfections. Meningitis, the child may recover from that. The adult patient may recover from that with some uh, cranial nerve dysfunctions. In your nerve, you can see all the cranial nerves that are functioning. If you look at cranial nerve, you can see all the cranial nerves that are affected. For so, example, you can see if the optic nerve is affected. Optic nerve is cranial nerve in the two. That is due occurring due to compression of increased ICP. That is due to the manifestation. We have blindness, papilledema. Papilledema means edema of the optic disc. That is why ocular motor nerve is cranial nerve 3, trochlear cranial nerve 4, abducens cranial nerve 6. So, this ocular motor trochlear abducens is involved. Tosis varam, unequal pupils. Anisocoria means unequal. Pupils, the two pupils are normally one of the two. One is one of the two. Right is the left is the reverse. One is one of the unequal pupils, then diplopia. Diplopia. If the uh, ocular motor, tri tri trochlear, abducens, we affected. That's why trigeminal nerve is trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal nerve and the brain, the fifth cranial nerve on other factor dicranial sensory loss on a loss of corneal reflex. If a patient number of sensor trigeminal affected dicrania, mala candilota to kutta and aragil on the talan vanal polem, we will not close the eye because namaka the blink reflex, corneal reflex will be absent because the trigeminal nerve is affected. Upon namaka manaslaka and the e meninchi. Uh, the meningitis one the the cranial nerve affected according to the affected cranial nerve there is possibility for the uh, the dysfunction, there is possibility for the particular manifestation. Facial nerve, the macarium, cranial nerve, seven dana. But seven the facial nerve affected eye cranial meningitis, facial paresis, facial paralysis, polar symptom. Vestibular cochlear nerve, one eighth nerve, other one the cardinal, vestibular cochlea, chevica catanaria. Upper symptoms, micavarum, chevilotal symptoms, tinnitus, vertigo, deafness, vere. Most of the cranial nerve dysfunctions may disappear with when the patient is passing through weeks. Archical cut on the bomb by symptoms and lang coraim, disability lang coraim. But usually, deafness may remain. We have to treat the person in time with the proper antibiotics and all. But these dysfunctions disappear in few weeks and a permanent one may be the hearing loss and deafness. 
Within a quarter, heavy paresis on Dagam, even a chemi anopia on Dagam, even death. But now I am speaking, I was dealing the different uh, complications which are occurring in meningitis. Next, similarly, the Chela Putigal, Chela patients, meningitis, that may end in hydros. Cephalus, especially non communicating hydrosa. Communicating hydrocephala, non, -commu non communicating hydrocephalus. That is due to obstructed CSF. Avada non communication. Communication is not there in the flow of CSF. It will be obstructed there or in the ventricles and the CSF reabsorption will be less by the arachnoid villi and, and also it will be obstructed there. The person will be developing hydrocephalus. But medical treatment is not there. Only surgical intervention. We P shunde, V A shunde thodangiya. So, namle ayne shunde gal thitaana. We will be draining out the C S O from the collected area. That is known as hydrocephalus developed due to meningitis. Adu kona na hydrocephalus vanna kutti galke korey kani ma thale ella ingena valarud erna thakaana. Adu kona na head circumference namle erakke erakke dikkanam. By using a tape, we have to take the head circumference of a child in order to see unnecessarily the head size is increasing or not. But the hydrocephalus can be considered as a complication of meningitis. That's why I don't know. That's why I don't know. When we have meningitis, there is a complication of Waterhouse Frederickson syndrome. What do you say? This is the first word. Spelling is the Waterhouse. Frederickson syndrome. Syndrome is the same manifestations. It is a complication of meningococcal meningitis. Meningococcal meningitis will be very fatal, will be definitely may be leading to, um, it must be considered as a medical emergency, it may be leading to death and all. So here, meningococcal meningitis in the Oris where in the syndrome, along the complication on a water house Frederickson syndrome. But you would have water house and F W F syndrome and number by the group of manifestations, a petty K, yellow bleeding. Petike, DIC, DIC in the ringal carrier, disseminated intravascular coagulation, yellow at clot formation, disseminated ana from one end to another end, from one area to another, e coagulation clot may travel. Even stroke will be there, so cardiac circulation will be affected, adrenal hemorrhage, then circulatory collapse and a shock. These are the manifest as syndrome which are coming under the title Waterhouse Frederickson syndrome. But Waterhouse Frederickson syndrome, we have to another It is a complication seen in meningococcal meningitis. We have to ask another question. Waterhouse Frederickson syndrome is seen in encephalitis, tuberculous meningitis, fungal meningitis, meningococcal meningitis. In the four options, the meningococcal meningitis, meningitis is the answer for that. But the manager, what is the Waterhouse uh, Frederickson syndrome? It consists the manifestations as PTK, DIC or the disseminated intravascular coagulation, adrenal hemorrhage. There will be bleeding in the adrenal gland, circulatory collapse. Finally, the person will be having shock. When these symptoms are combinedly together called as a syndrome or Waterhouse Frederickson syndrome, it is a complication of meningococcal meningitis. Makariam, DIC and shock are very fatal conditions. Very fatal conditions. Even this DIC and shock may lead to death because of the meningococcemia. The word of term in the Kathimata the Manaslakanam, Meninjo, Coxemia. In the Paranjal Namakaria, something Emia stands for presence of that particular thing in the blood. Meninjo, Coxemia in the Paranjal, blood, blood, Meninjo, Coxemia in the Paranjal, Meninjo, Cockle organism is abundantly collected or growing in blood. We will call it as Meninjo, Coxemia. So, this is the complications.